This is my level two certification rocket. It's a Mac Performance Black Fly three inch rocket and it's made out of a canvas phenolic material. This rocket is primarily made up of three sections. The booster section, which has five fins, a tail cone and a 38 millimeter motor mount. Uh, the avionics bay, which houses a Animal Motorworks Pico AA1 accelerometer and also an egg timer quark dual deployment flight controller. And then the upper section and nose cone, which houses the main parachute. For the parachutes, I'm using a uh, high-speed 18-inch Drogue for the, the Drogue parachute, and the main parachute is a Top Flight Recovery X form uh, with the colors I like, which are neon orange and neon pink, which is really good for um, in the desert if you ever lose your rocket, being able to see those colors from far away is key. They're very bright and stand out, and I'm a big fan of bright parachutes for that reason exactly. This rocket weighs 69 ounces without a motor in it, and it... Um, has five fins, as you can see, it's a five fin design, which is pretty unique and cool. That's, this is what kind of made me want to get it. It's this rocket is a unique look. It looks pretty mean, and uh, I really like the tail cone that Mac includes with this kit. It's a 3D printed tail cone, and then you can paint it whatever color you want. And then uh, it's a 38 millimeter motor mount, and I have a 38 millimeter Aeropack retainer on the back. This rocket flew on an Aerotech J420 Redline to 5,731 feet, hitting 579 miles an hour and pulling 30 Gs off the pad. I flew this rocket two days ago at the Superstition Space Modeling Society launch, um, the April launch, and uh, yeah, the flight was awesome. I flew it in the morning. It was a little windy, around 10 to 15 mile an hour wind, and um, it was a great flight, super fast and very straight. This kit is very stout, and I really like the quality that Mac Performance provides with their rocket kits. The avionics are powered on by these two rotary switches right here and it has 1010 rail buttons. While in flight, after boost, the nose cone is held on via two shear pins, which the holes are here and here. For those shear pins, I installed brass shear plates in there to get good, nice, clean shears of those pins and have no issues with them hanging up. This is a Wildman uh, filament-wound fiberglass nose cone with the metal uh, tip at the top, and then there's a forged eye bolt that screws into that tip for uh, the recovery harness. Three, two, one. Perfect. And 1.5 grams in the main charge. Three, two, one. Perfect as well. <laughs> awesome. Cool. I got out to the launch on Friday and stayed overnight. Flew a few rockets on Friday, some class one rockets, and then did my level two cert in the morning. I woke up and took the test, got 100% on the test, and then uh, continued on with the flight and the flight was flawless, it was awesome, very fast, and uh, everyone seemed to enjoy it. I got some good pictures out of it as well. Um, but yeah, everything went good. It was a smooth process getting my level two certification, and uh, here's the flight of the trip out to the desert and uh, the launch as well.